Welcome to Calculus. Fractions will pop up when you least expect it. On this episode, Stevenson will demonstrate In this particular case, we do have a function, but notice there's only one question. So we have to use some of the different ideas together and think about those in order to answer this question. Here we go. A body's velocity at time t seconds is given as v of t equals blah, 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 meters per second. Find the body's speed each time the acceleration is zero. Okay, we're given velocity but we want to find the body's speed, which we know is the absolute value of velocity, when acceleration is zero. But when acceleration is zero, we know acceleration is the first derivative of velocity. All right, we just broke this down. So the place where we have to start is we have to figure out the when before we can find the what. So first step, what is the derivative of velocity? Well, it's a nice polynomial, so we're gonna use power rule. So this is gonna be six t squared. This is minus 18t, and that's plus 12. The derivative of five is zero. Now we're gonna set this equal to zero and solve. So I'm gonna get t equals one and t equals two. Now, what did we just find? These are the times when the acceleration is zero. Acceleration, remember, is the first derivative of velocity. Now, what are we gonna do? We're now gonna find the speed at that time. Let's make the calculator do the work for us. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and type in my function into my graphing element here. And don't worry about the fact that the problem says it's t, just use it in terms of x, it's just a placeholder. Now it's y1. Let's evaluate our velocity at one, but we're gonna do absolute value, and let's figure out the absolute value of velocity at two. Now again, why are we doing absolute value? Because we were asked for the speed. So what that means is it's the absolute value of your velocity. Now, how do you do absolute values in your calculator? Here's how you do it. You're gonna go to math, and you're gonna look for abs, but you're gonna go to number first up here and find your abs right there, ABS. So we're gonna say absolute value. Oh look, it's so nice and cute. Now we're gonna type in our velocity evaluated at one. So do you remember how I showed you what to do? We're gonna go to vars, go to y vars, select function, and we want y1 evaluated at one, so parentheses one. Enter. Oh, all that work for a zero? It's a bit disappointing. So what this means is, at t equals zero, the velocity is zero meters per second. Wait, time was one. The next one. So the nice thing is with graphing calculator, it's already set up, so all I have to do is press up two times, see how it's highlighted? I press enter and it repopulates again. And now I can go in here and say, no, no, I want it at two, enter. Time equals two, 